All right, today we're doing breakfast on the Blackstone. And this is kind of special to me because I'm gonna make an omelet. And omelets are like one of my favorite things. Like when I was in the military, right? The omelet was like the thing I waited for. I remember my instructors would be like, all right, 10 minutes to eat. And I'd see the line for the omelet and I'm like, oh, okay, eight minutes in the line, two minutes to eat it. I loved the omelet, I always got it. So I haven't had one like this on a, on a griddle like this. They always made it on this and it was amazing. Uh, I'll show you all the things I have that I'm going to be making and what I'm going to put in my omelet, but it's going to be pretty special because I haven't had it for a long time, and I'm going to take my time and eat it today. So I'll show you what I got. All right, I'm making just a frozen bag of uh, potatoes. I got a bunch of mixed up stuff going on here. I got one sausage, some ham, onion, green bell, uh, jalapeno, green onion. So oh, she's flies in the south, man. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm making. You can make it however you want. Of course, these guys are going crazy with each other. If you haven't seen him before, he likes the ball. He's obsessed with it. And then I got eggs. My wife wants scrambled, and then I'm doing the omelet. So I'm gonna get this grill fired up. I, oh, and I got salt and pepper. So gosh, these flies. So I'm gonna get this started and I'll show you how I do it. All right, so here's how I'm thinking I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna have this side, these two burners on like a low, and I'm gonna have these two on a medium. The medium's gonna be more for my uh, potatoes and for the vegetables and stuff I'm gonna be mixing up for the omelet. So I'm gonna get this thing fired up and then I'll turn this back on once we get there. All right, and we're off. So again, I got like a medium over here, like a medium low on these two, uh, closer to low. It's kind of hard to explain with these uh, buttons, but more on the low settings. I don't want to burn my eggs. I don't want them too crispy. I want them as light as I can. So these over here, we're going to get started on the hash browns and stuff. A little bit of oil. Gonna kind of mix this up just a little bit, get a spread going here. Then I'm gonna get this going. I'm gonna get these things going first. This is my uh, mixture for my my omelet, which that should saute down pretty good. I'm not gonna record the whole process, but you get the point, cook it through. And then I'm gonna get some potatoes and stuff going on over here. And I'm just gonna work this through and check on it periodically. So we'll be back in just a sec. Oh, bump the camera. All right, my vegetables are very, very close. So I'm gonna move these potatoes as far over as I can to try and get them away from the eggs. My vegetables and sausage are already coming through. You can see that my potato bag is kind of getting a good mix going on here or a good color. Still need a little bit of time. Those are gonna take the longest for sure. So, so all I'm gonna do is this as clean as I can. Then I'm gonna get a little bit of butter. Never mind, I don't have any. I gotta go inside and get some real quick. Thought I had some. Sorry about that, guys. I, uh, actually just dropped it though. I am losing my mind. So I got the butter. Gotta get a piece. I just dropped that piece. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on there. Just swirl it around, it's a little bit bubbly, it's not too hot, I hope, but we're going to go for it either way. It could burn up a little bit more than I like, but put that around a little bit. Let's see how this goes. Come on, omelet, come on. And I'm just going to go for the pour here. I'm just gonna kind of spread it out. This is what they always did. They would spread it out. And they would put their veggies on there once it's all.
once it's all going here. So I'm gonna get some cheese on there. That's a huge omelet once you spread it out like that. I can tell I'm getting a little bit more color than I would like, but it's not too big a deal. I need my other thing here. And just come over here, grab these. Right in the middle. Try and get it all. Oh, that's all right. I can just go in with the rest of it. Now I'm gonna go for the little bit of a, a flip here. This side, a little bit of color, not bad. And then, oh man, this is looking good though. I may still be very excited about this. Oh no! Yeah, kinda. Let it go a little bit, that might get it across. Scrape this down in there. Not too bad, I might burn, kill this burner just for now. So yeah, low will get hot in case you can't tell. Give these a little toss, put them on good. I'm gonna turn these down a little bit too. These black stars, man, they get really, really hot. I rarely cook on the very, very high setting. Let me know what you cook on the very, very high setting on there. I don't know why I say very high, it's just the high setting, but that's okay. Give this a little bit of a toss so I can get the prettier side. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh man, can't wait to get into some of that. Get a little bit of a better shot for you, bring it over here. Looking good, I like it, I'm happy with it. Oh, I'm on a tripod and I gotta try and set this back down nice. All right, we got a plate over here. Just gonna get that on there. Think that's just about good. Oh. Talk about an omelet. Looking good. A little bit of color, but not bad. Get this covered up and some of these flies get in there. Get some flies down here, I tell you. All right, so my wife wants scrambled, and uh, I think this is still hot enough to still do it. Oh, yeah. So I might even turn the burner back on low, but I don't want this to get too colored up too quick. So I'm probably gonna turn these back on. There we go. And these are gonna cook pretty quick, so I'm just gonna kind of toss them around. Look how easy, um, after you do a couple cooks on this, how pretty close and non-stick it is. It's always gonna stick a little bit. It's not gonna get perfect. But do a couple easy cooks. I did a couple videos on that. Uh, previously to show how to get this thing kind of ready. But if I had done this initially right away, um, this would have been very, very um, still sticky. So these are going to not take very long at all. And she's going to add whatever she wants to this, probably just salt and pepper. Just about done, and I cook fast. You can add a little bit of cheese or whatever else you want on there. But looking pretty good. All right, on to the next thing. All right, I've got one more family member that wants some uh, an omelet. So I gotta do one more, but I'm probably gonna scrape this grill clean a little bit. Probably give one of these a taste here in a minute. These potatoes are getting pretty dang close. Just a little bit longer. And I'm gonna scrape this clean before I do that other omelet. A little bit of salt and pepper on these things. Toss. 
bring everything together with this. I want to get these off before I do anything else, just because they're kind of in the way. Not bad, but pretty dang close to being done. Got to be patient with potatoes. All right, these potatoes are looking good. I'm going to get these off. I'm going to clean the grill just a little bit. Then we'll get on to the next part of making that next omelet. And I got sausage to do too, but I'm going to probably do that last. All right, so at this point, everything's on low. Ah! Throw those on. And then I'm gonna get these going too. Probably get a little bit more oil on this. One. All right, far left burner still on low. This is kind of a medium area, so I'm just gonna check on these a little bit. See, they need to get kicked up a little bit so these cook a little bit faster. Wanna check them. This, like I said, I'm very impressed with how hot this black stuff is. So just gonna check on them every now and then. I'm probably gonna bring these veggies over here more to the medium area. And just toss and turn until these are ready, and then we'll go with the egg again. Guys, I can't say enough about this Blackstone. I am just mad I didn't get it sooner. This thing is so easy to cook on, and you can cook a lot, and it's quick. Um, I have a link down below where I post everything that I buy and use. If you do buy it, I do get a portion of it because I'm an Amazon affiliate. It costs no more to you, but I'll post all the links to things I use down below. That's a great way to help support my channel. All right, let's go for this omelet again. I turned those two uh, left burners off because it was so hot last time. You probably don't need to, but I did. And cheese. Maybe a little bit more. Just a bit more cheese. All right, then we gotta go with these. And yeah, this one turned out better than mine so far. We'll see how it looks when I go for the flip, though. That's the hard part. Kenzie's turns out better than mine. Look at this thing. <laughs> then, let's see here. This is always the fun part. I'm always afraid I'm going to break it. No. Oh no! It still looks beautiful except for the giant hole. It'll still turn, turn on the plate. Wait for the flip, then it'll look good on that side. <laughs> Right, let's see if I can do it. Joke's on her, her omelet, not mine. Look at that. Can't even tell. All right, let's see how this is. There we go, looking good. Can't even tell the other side. Look at that, can't even tell. Now we just gotta cook these through a little bit more and that should be it. 
All right, do as I say, not as I do. I usually use a temperature reader on these, but I don't want to go back and try and get it. So I'm gonna check one and see how it looks. And that is looking pretty dang good. I might call these done, maybe give them a minute or two. And then I'm gonna show you guys, and we're gonna see if that omelet tasted as good as when I was in the military. Hope you guys are enjoying this kind of content. I love cooking on this thing. This thing is amazing. So if you like this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel. So we're gonna get ready to dive in and I'll show you what we're working with. All right guys, so I got it on the plate here. I've been getting a lot of comments about the paper plate. Like, I just don't wanna do dishes, okay? So it's not a big deal to use paper plate, but anyways, got a little bit of potatoes, couple sausage. Here's the thing, we'll see if it tastes like I remember it. Um, I didn't really add anything, salt and pepper, and that's it. You can add salsa or anything else if you wanna get more special with it. I didn't. And that is looking good. Let's see if we can get a thumbnail. There we go. Something like that. Get a couple shots so I can try and screenshot somewhere. All right. Let's see here. Get a good bite. Got a bunch of stuff going on in there. good times and just how I remember it. You can really tell the difference between a Blackstone egg and a frying pan egg. It's hard to explain, but it, it is amazing. You guys got to give this recipe a shot, even though omelets are pretty special, but I hope my advice and showing you how I kind of did it will help you. So um, that's all I got for today. Breakfast on the Blackstone turned out great. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next cook.